Hey friends, welcome back to Bass Learning Land. I'm Bass and whoa, we have a puzzle here and a mystery puzzle behind. So let's get these numbers out and let's count them and let's get the mystery puzzle. All right, we have our first number. It's in the color pink. What number? It's the number one. After the number one comes a purple two. Well done. And after the number two, we have a blue three. After the three, we have a number four in teal. Oh, after the number four is a green five. Then we have a light green six, followed by a yellow seven. Oh, and up next is a dark yellow eight, followed by an orange nine. And last but not least, we have the biggest number of them all. We have a number 10. How do we know it's a 10? There's a one followed by a zero. One, zero. It's the number 10. And the number 10 is the number that we're going to be learning today. Now, I think we could pretend that these are donuts. Delicious. So let's count how many donuts we are going to be counting today. Are you ready? Right now, we have zero donuts. But now, here comes the first donut. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness. Shall I stop there? No, the number 10 is more than five. Let's keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, ten delicious donuts. And look, these numbers keep getting bigger because you have more and more of those donuts. Yes, in quantity and the things that you have, the number ten is the largest number from one to ten because it has the most number of things in it. In this case, pretend donuts. Oh, and just like that, take a look what we have here today. It's a puzzle, but a puzzle of a what? I wonder. I think there's something here in the middle. Shall we figure it out? All right, we have to choose the smallest puzzle pieces. I think it's this one. Can you point to the next puzzle piece that's small? Right here, yeah, look at that. And what about this one? No, it's kind of big. This one? Yes. Okay. Hmm. Let's figure this out. What if we put this here? Hmm. Does that fit? It does. Way to go. Oh, what if we put this here? It's the number 10. Of course. We're going to be learning about the number 10. This way that you can represent the number is in numeral, number form. Yeah. Did you know that you could represent numbers in so many ways? Yes. Let's see. What if I want to use maybe hmm, animals or pictures? How can I represent this? Right. Maybe I want to do 10 grasshoppers. Let's count. Let's make sure that there are 10 grasshoppers. One, two, three. And I like touching each picture to make sure I counted it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, oh, let's see. Maybe this goes here. So we now represented the number ten with pictures or with objects. Hmm. What about this one? Hmm. What are these? It kind of does look like beads, doesn't it? Maybe we use beads to count the number ten. Let's count them together. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <gasps> ten beads. So fancy. Hmm. I wonder if this one goes, oh, what about beside the grasshoppers? Yeah, why not? Hmm. What are those? Are those my toes? No, those are your fingers and your hands. You can count numbers using your hands. Oh, it kind of does look like I need both my hands and all my fingers. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, you could also count them upwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, cool. I could use my fingers to count to ten. How did I not think of that? What else? What else? What else? Oh, do you know what those are? Yeah, they're die. Yeah, you may have seen them playing games with your family or your friends. Yeah, okay. Mm. Let's count. This one has how many dots? Five. One, two, three, four, and one in the middle. Five. Mm. But what about this one? It looks like it has one less dot. One, two, three, four. Hmm. So we have 5 plus 4 equals 9. <gasps> of course, plus 1 more equals 10. So, wow, I can use thy too. All right, let's put that right there. Hmm. <gasps> Do you like building blocks? Me too. Look, we have some building blocks here too. I wonder how many there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 green ones. 1, 2, 3, 4. Four yellow ones, so six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look at that. Ten blocks. Oh, yes, of course, we could use our blocks to count to ten. Oh, this one has letters. That's peculiar. Yes, you're right. It's in word form. Yeah, T-E-N, ten. You could also represent the number 10 using letters and a word. Yeah, in this case, I use letters to make sounds and I use it in a word form too. Yeah, 10. That was so much fun. Thank you so much for learning about the number 10 and how to count numbers and represent them too. I had so much fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more adventures. Bye.